Hey guys, welcome back. Just got a quick video for you today. No real direction with it, just a little update on the Mustang and the garage here. So uh, Mustang is actually uh, down right now. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, um, you would have already known kind of what's going on. But uh, next month is uh, race season and there's a lot of things that I just need to get back together. Um, basically the old belt that I had for it uh, died. I have it right here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see on camera, but uh, it definitely got like really hot and frayed and uh, started squeaking a bunch and all the pulleys on the supercharger system had residue on it. So I just went ahead and bought a new belt. The other one I'll just save as a spare. <clears throat> one of the uh, pulleys on the, on the front too uh, had gotten shot. It's a 90 mil groove pulley here. Um, I replaced it already actually, but uh, the part that I got, there's like casting marks on it that are bad. You can actually see on this, this one is another replacement part I got. You can see it kind of right there. Let's so hit the, the light right. Um, this one doesn't look as bad. The one I replaced on there is really bad and actually wobbles and it's probably part of the problem why that one died. Um, but uh, the original, the bearing inside was definitely shot. This one is good, but uh, this also seems to have the bad casting mark. The one I got uh, that I replaced was a Duralast brand. This is a Deco brand. Couldn't really find the Ford one, so well on that. Um, also got new filter, new, um, what's it called? Gasket. Also have a new uh, oil pan. In the video where I did the uh, shift kit, I uh, installed a, uh, a little drain plug on the oil pan. Hasn't leaked or anything yet, but uh, you can actually... Uh, you actually buy one that comes with one. So this will be better um, than the one that I put on. I'm thinking um, just less chance for it to leak. The new pan, I can alter it. There are some spots on here. I think right over here is where I need to uh, cut some of the material off for the shifter bracket to fit. Basically with the 6R80 swap uh, and using a F-150 trans, the shifter bracket basically anchors right around here and uh, that needs to be fixed, uh, or it's on the side, I forget what. Basically, I just need to take this lip off, make it flat. Also, actually just got this in the mail. Uh, this is a uh, thermostat bypass for the 6R80. So the 6R80s in uh, above the uh, valve body, there is one of these, it's a thermal bypass or a thermostat bypass. Basically uh, has a wax pellet in there, and once the temperature of the fluid gets up to a certain temp, it will open, allowing coolant, or sorry, get, uh, allowing um, fluid from the transmission to actually circulate to the cooler. A lot of people use these. Um, basically, it'll give me the ability to check the fluid level at any time. It doesn't need to be warmed up. Also, it'll allow the transmission to circulate its uh, fluid, which uh, some of you might know, but I do have some issues with the transmission shuddering a little bit. When it's cold, once it warms up, it's good. So I think it maybe has some to do with that because once it's warmed up, it's circulating the coolant or the fluid. So something to test. And uh, if it ends up, you know, causing problems because you just like an engine don't want it to run cold. Um, I'm thinking with the stall and everything, it should heat up pretty nicely. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. And then I have all new seals for the, uh, I forget what they're called, but they're tiny seals above the valve body that are easy to replace. I'm going to replace those as well. Inside here, if uh, you saw on Instagram, I have pretty much the whole interior taken apart, all the seats, and then under the dash, I'm gonna take this part off too, but under the dash there, you can see uh, the, the kind of rat's nest I have with the transmission controller and then all the gauge pods. Really the big problem and why I'm doing all this is the gauge pods, when I first added them, it's fine. I was using these butt connectors, but uh, as I kept adding and adding, there's even more and there's really just not any room for them to sit in here together. They're buttoned up to get together. It's causing my gauges to read oddly most of the time. So my plan here is to just remove all the grounds, remove all the power lines, run completely new ones, solder everything. So they're gonna be kind of they're gonna be tiny. This one I just tested before I decided I'm just gonna rip them all out. I had the only wire at the time I had was this heavier gauge, it's like 16 gauge wire or 14 gauge where this stuff is like 20 or 22. So I'm gonna run the same length wire, 
solder everything, no butt connectors. They'll sit nicely in here. I'll have all new wires. I'll know what everything is. And uh, it'll be much simpler put together. It'll be easier to fix any future problems. Also, this gave me the opportunity to take the seats out and clean everything out. I hate working under the dash with the seat in the car. It just kills my back. So uh, yeah, that'll be uh, pretty fun to actually get down and get everything fixed. And then also with the uh, this being taken apart, I can, if I decide to, install my uh, N2MB watt box. So this will allow me to add launch control, basically two-step to the Mustang. The Quick 6 controller, which I actually have out over here, the US Shift Quick 6 controller gives you the ability to wire in a trans brake, which I've done and tested. So trans brake and two-step make me much more competitive at the track. I'll actually be able to leave where I want to, leave on power. Uh, it'll just make it so much better. One last thing, this is really cool. So shout out to my family and my parents. They pulled together money for my birthday. It was just my birthday last week. And uh, they got me something super cool. It's kind of hard to see here. Let me see if I can get this out, but it's a giant jury rig garage LED sign. It's kind of dirty right now just because it's been opened and stuff. But uh, yep, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it all wired up and put up on the wall here. Then we'll have a, a jury rig garage sign. So you'll see how that goes. Just kind of wanted to give you that little update. Um, basically, I want to get this stuff done on the Mustang because we're going to be bringing the Trans Am in to swap the motor in this uh, 6.7 liter 408 stroker into the Trans Am. And it's going to need the spot here. And then also, uh, we do actually want to get the uh, Project F's engine drivetrain under the Camaro as well before we do this. So we have more room in here. Not sure if we, I should be saying this or if we want to make it an official video, but we're kind of leaning towards turbo turbocharging the Camaro just for simplicity's sake. So uh, there's that note. We should be seeing some more work on Project F here shortly. But uh, yeah, it's just about getting the Mustang fixed and running, getting the Trans Am engine swapped, as well as working on the on the Camaro here. All right, guys, Isaiah helped me get it fixed up there. Um, I'm going to tidy up the cabling, definitely. Um, maybe even put some more heat, uh, shrink wrap over it or something. But uh, yeah, we're going to tidy up later, but I just wanted to get it up there to show you guys. Get this plugged in. There we are. Isn't that, that looks so fucking cool. Now we just got our Jerry Rig Garage logo in all it's our almost, videos. Yeah, it's almost like we're official now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, it looks friggin' awesome having an LED sign. Even just the logo is like cool to have in the garage. It was really cool how they were able to get such good detail. They didn't uh, ask for the logo. They just took it off of the uh, the channel, but like the art is really good. Yeah, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because it's got some like packaging stuff and fingerprints on it. But uh, yeah, that'll be really cool just having all our videos. I mean, you can see it pretty much anywhere in frame of our garage here. <laughs> it's pretty big. Dude, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, they did mention there might uh, there's like a dimmer for it, so I might be able to turn the brightness down a bit. But uh, either way, it looks freaking awesome. Very official now. Jerry Garage logo in there. Yeah, now all we just need to do is get the shirts out. Yeah, we need shirts, clean up the walls. But yeah, this thing was pretty easy to install too. Just took two people, hold it up, and then mark where we need to drill in. You can actually kind of see our first, or my first attempt above it. Yeah, the mollings that they gave were just like They're crap. very bad. Yeah. But we got them. Got it done. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for the video. Just wanted to give a little update and show you guys the cool uh, the, the LED logo. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below.